Okay, I'd like to uh, show you something called the Faraday effect, except no one has ever seen this before. Now, I have a, a simple red laser, which you could see right here on the table. I'm able to flick it around. Now, what would I be able to have that would actually act like a rat cage holding a rat that is trying to bounce around um, from one wall to the next and that would actually contain a coherent light emission. Well obviously I'm able to flick this red laser wherever I want and do whatever I want so what would actually give me the definition of something that is invisible that would actually contain to a degree although amazingly so um, this laser light okay let me show you first and then I will explain what it is okay now there's something you might want to look up it's called the Lamore frequency it is uh, a frequency that's a known entity it has to be known for MRI machines to work it is a rate of geromagnetic precession and it is also the reason for EM uh, retardation electromagnetic retardation or the phase shift which I've actually was the discoverer of uh, uh, rarefaction on a north pole of a magnet and a compression uh, blue shift on the south pole so let me show you something now that is akin to taking coherent light and trapping it like a rat in a cage now as I actually take the laser back and forth now I'm flicking it wildly I'm unable to control it with my hand but you'll actually see a well-defined boundary okay let me try a different angle here you'll see this let me actually try a steeper angle you're able to see it better Okay, do you see that boundary? Look closely. Okay. You'll see, even though I flick it well beyond the sheet of black paper, let me try on the other hand. That, get a steep angle so you're able to see it better. Even though I flick it wildly, you'll see a boundary as I take the coherent light from one side to the other. And you'll also notice that it's being deflected right from the center, but on either side you'll see a well-defined curved boundary. So what would be taking this coherent light radiation? Remember, light is a coaxial circuit. Transverse electrical magnetic and longitudinal, as Tesla called it, uh, longitudinal compressions and rarefactions in the ether, however what those are, are dielectric pulses. Kind of like a string of, uh, of pearls on a string which would be the uh, compressions and rarefactions of the dielectric pulse which makes up the center uh, of the uh, coaxial nature of light and of course the transverse reciprocations being electrical and magnetic let me get a steeper angle here now do you see that? let me go a little bit slower I have to keep up a certain speed for you able to see that boundary okay you see that boundary? okay just like a rat trapped in a cage, you'll notice that there is phase retardation where the light actually halts. Even I, There's no way I could do this handheld, which of course I am doing it handheld, and be able to draw, delineate that fine boundary that you see here. Look closely. I'm actually going around this. Let me try it at a different angle over here. You'll see the same thing. Let me get a steep angle so you're able to see more of the coherent light diffuse and you'll see that same circular curved boundary and you'll notice a well-defined okay enough of that so what was containing that coherent laser radiation okay this isn't an ordinary pointer by the way it is a uh, red laser pointer but this is actually a technical one versus like a cheapie but anyone would work why well, look you see that circular boundary that it was drawing? That is the centrifugal edge of maximum magnetic divergence on a thousand dollar monster magnet, a huge, enormous uh, neodymium iron boron chromium plated. Uh, let me show you. Uh, I can't get the laser pointer too close, it'll suck it right to it. Oh my god. Oh! This enormous beast, this thousand dollar neodymium, which this is a dangerous beast by the way. You spend any time experimenting with it, 
um, it actually makes your eyes throb. Not from the laser light, which of course laser light would normally do that anyway, because coherent, coherent light radiation is uh, damaging to the back of the eyes to look at it for too long. But doing non-laser experiments, you get the same effect. So that was the boundary you were seeing. I just placed the card over there. And you'll see that circular boundary being drawn from the coherent light radiation. That is EM phase retardation. Dr. Oleg, uh, Oleg D. Jefeminko talks about it. Uh, Nikola Tesla talks about it. Um, Charles Proteus Steinmetz, Oliver Heaviside, James Clerk Maxwell. Okay. This is EM retardation. The light is actually being halted like stepping into, analogously stepping into uh, coal molasses, if you will at the boundary like a rat bouncing back and forth between the uh, perimeter of the cage and the perimeter of this cage for the coaxial nature of light which I'm able to demonstrate easily with coherent light is this centrifugal divergent edge this is the centripetal convergent you notice as I go over it it would actually diverge because it is magnetic and this is the centripetal convergent and this is the centrifugal divergent. You notice that the light, which is uh, strongly uh, uh, magnetic, especially since it is red frequency light, okay, it would actually um, diverge far less if it were blue light, but the blue lasers are far too dangerous, especially the ones that I have, to use with a sucker. So I'm using red light, which means it has a stronger magnetic con component and uh, far less of a powerful dielectric pulse and the compressions and refractions of the frequency of uh, this particular laser light, uh, which I actually can't remember the nanometers on this particular unit. But uh, anyway, it's a red laser, so it's predominantly magnetic instead of predominantly dielectric like a blue laser light would be. But you saw it actually halting on either edge, and you could see the well-defined circular retardation of uh, the laser light over top of the magnet. So you've never seen that before. Nobody has. And that, folks, is a very brief demonstrable representation of EM retardation. The Faraday effect in demo and also with the low more frequency of geomagnetic precession which necessitatively must have retardation not retardation as you conventionally think of it but specifically it's called electromagnetic retardation there is a huge book with uh, accompanying math by doctor and phd the late great dr ola d jefeminko tesla talks about it steinmetz heaviside the greats that gave you 100% of everything you use today that powers your camcorders, computers, and uh, hair dryers. So I'm glad I could show this to you. You've seen it here first and uh, only here. Thank you for watching. And uh, more demos are coming. But uh, it's interesting. Remember, the entire world, the entire cosmos, the entire universe are fields, and fields are not particles. Ultimately, quantum mechanics has no basis in reality because you cannot quantize, i.e. quantity, i.e. materiality, a field. Because a field has no quantity. It has a quality. It has a nature of flux over a given period of time. But there are no particles. There is no quantity which defines the fields. And this ultimately, of course, is the 800-pound gorilla that squats upon and... Uh, destroys um, quantum mechanics. Thank you for watching and praise Nikola Tesla. Always right, of course he was.